Hi everyone, Del here, welcome to the channel. First of all, uh, Happy New Year and uh, let's hope 2022 is a good one for everyone. Keep positive and keep pushing forward. So today I'm going to do a quick review of my Rush 24 backpack. Um, I've had it for over a year and a half now. So we'll take a look at it and see what I like and what I don't like about it. So thanks for subscribing guys. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe and click the like. Only if you want to. So let's crack on and take a look at the uh, Rush 24. So here we have the Rush 511 24 backpack. It's a great backpack. I love it. This is my everyday. So I keep this in my vehicle and um, I use it as and when. There is other ones in the series, the Rush 12 and the Rush 72. Now the numbers don't equate to the literage size, the numbers equate to um, an hour, basically an hour's, uh, the hours worth of kit size. So basically the Rush 12 is designed for 12 hours um, worth, of, worth of kit to keeping it for um, backpacking etc 24 so that's for a full 24 hour day so that's the amount of kit you can get into it and then the 72 that's basically how they're made equivalently the 24 is 37 liters if you want to break it down into literage but that's originally what the name was given for so i really like this pack i've had this one for over a year and a half this is the first one so it's not the 2.0 and um, the new ones in the past year are, are now called the 2.0 range this one isn't it, this is like the kind of like, I suppose you'd call it a first gen. So as you can see for a year and a half of use, it's held up really well. I really, really like these. I like the yoke system on the back. So a lot of yoke system on backpacks, you'll find they have the adjustment straps and things like that. This is a nice big wide yoke. I really like it. I like the straps. I like the strength of the straps. Um, the chest ties, I'm not a big fan of chest ties, but then when you're moving at pace, it's good. It's good to have them on. A great adjustment. It's got the securing straps, the elasticated straps for keeping um, your straps secure so they're not dangling about. You know, those old boys, we used to tape them up and stuff like that. Um, you don't need to do that with these adjustment straps, elastic, uh, elastic secure straps. And also, with it being the first gen, it's got a drainage hole in it, the new uh, 2.0 range don't have that with the back of the pack it's nice and padded for your back not too pronounced but but nice it's got a compartment for the water bladder as you can see zips off um, so your water bladder and I can go in there it's got a solid back piece in here which I've never taken out as you can see so in this velcro part here there's plastic support just there so it keeps the shape of the backpack on it. Um, so this is where your water bladder goes in here too, with secure, secure straps, all your different secure means. Also what I like about the 511 is they've got the double zip system. So you can open it one side, or you can follow it all the way around. I really like that. On the top of the pack, we've got the holes for your water bladder to come out of, your, um, your drinking pipe, but also you can use that for comms. You've got one either side, which one you prefer. Feed the tube out or put your comms out of it. If you've got a wee UV5R with an extended whip, bring it out the top, your grab handle. So nine times out of ten, most of us, when we grab a pack up we don't pick it up by the yoke we normally pick it up by the strap first and um, when you're handling it in and out off the ground things like that then you can throw it over it's also got a lined pouch on the top so that one just holds a, a wee coast folder in mine um, but you can put your phone in there put your sunglasses in there it's a nice lined pocket which is another nice feature it's got compression straps on the side, so depending on your load, what you've got in, you can just tighten it down nice and tight so it reduces movement on your back when you're carrying it. Um, I like that. The sides, we've got the Molly systems, so we can put on other backpack systems if you want, uh, other, other, 
other pouch systems if we want if we want to secure it it also has compartments on there so as you can see it holds fixed blades comfortably same on the other side now for size comparison that's an SA6 so it fits things in there comfortably obviously you know you can put your canteens in there and things like that too keep it all nice and tight on the front of the system we've got the morale patch holders top and bottom so if you want to patch up you can um, you know you're there you know how we all like our patches inside again we've got a double zip system for opening up so inside on the admin panels itself which is really good we've got um, the, the different compartments in it they're nice and big hold whatever you want the admin panels as such all the different pouches on it the zip compartments they're really spacious really big so we've got numerous things we can put in there we've also got um, key loop securers so if you've got keys for your vehicle your house and whatnot if you want to put them in there put them in there then tuck them in the pocket reduce your noise on the top we've also got a top admin pouch again looks like one but it's actually um, two singular which open right up we've got the zip compartments on plus also a back compartment on both of them so we can put all sorts in again molly on the front of that too the zips are so good you think this is a year and a half of use on this pack and there's not even a mark on it okay so inside what i like about the 511 as well is i like the, the open the, the way they open out so they call it clamshell so the whole pack just opens out as such like that so we can get inside we have great compartment storage within the bag itself on the the front we've got the triple pocket system so the front pocket's really good we can access that from top or from bottom whichever way you've got your pack over middle pouch is a large pouch it's only got the top access but still good indeed and it's also got another larger pouch under the bottom of that inside the pack itself as you can see there's loads of room in there so different first aid kits blowout kits fire kits hats tape ignore the knives <laughs> um, catapult jet boil basically just a menagerie of kit so let's just shove all that out just now in the back itself we've got more compartments as such that's just the back of the fleece line compartment there the pouch and then we've got another securing pouch in there with the tight secure it another large um, string netted pouch there too okay with the large zip on the back and then we've also got inserts there so you could open it and put a pen thing uh, in so that's that there so that's the pack itself now as you can see the old system has the drainage holes so that's how you can tell the difference from the old packs there's a few subtle differences like that from the old pack to the new packs but yeah that's the the rush 24 i really like it you might think it's a bit big for an everyday pack but i actually think it's a perfect size and um, suits me really well i like the fact that we can reduce its size with the compression sacks is there anything i don't like about it to be honest not really the price vary from 98 pound to 115 pound depend on where you're buying them from it's tough it's reliable does everything it needs to do maybe the only addition i would make to it is put another compression strap on it you know if they put added another compression you can make it even tighter to stop it from bulking out at the bottom because when you pull the top compression in it tends to bulk out at the bottom so 
my only other addition if they were ever going to do it would would be to add a second compression each side so you can just pull it that little bit tighter as with the York system perfect some people don't like the hard insert at the back there um, I don't know why really they just probably don't don't like the shape of it keeping its shape I like it also if you think about it you could actually change that out for a Kevlar plate if you wanted so in this modern world we live in you've got a bit of protection there and um, from any stray shots depending on what country you're living in so I like that and I like the way how everything tucks even down to the straps how they're all just covered so you know so that saves basically it covers it so it doesn't pop off if you're going through brushes or it doesn't catch um, it's quite a nice feature that I like that but overall if you see what I mean about the York system it's just a really good backpack but I just wanted to do a quick review of that so that's like I said it's a year and a half of use as you can see it's still pretty much like new apart from needing a bit of a wash but I'm a big fan of it I am thinking about picking up a Rush 12 a wee bit smaller but to be honest um, I'd probably overfill it um, put too much stuff in it and stuff like that but yeah that's what I think of the 511 Rush 24 I'm a big fan of it I like it so that was the Rush 24 and a quick review like I said I've had it for over a year and a half I like it basically average it out £100 for a backpack solid kit I like it a lot I do have other backpacks but that's my main one I love how it feels I love it's com uh, how com comfortable it is too so I hope you liked that quick video not so quick but quick enough um, obviously as always I plan to do more this year but we'll just see where the year takes us and where time takes us again if you like what you see hit the subscribe click the like if you don't don't jog on um, but yeah as always everybody thanks for watching and stay for safe out there and for your old school boys get yourself to forswear you'll get the pun if you see it I'm sure there's a couple of people give you funny looks for wearing it but I think it's funny <laughs> stay safe out there everyone Dell out